హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ స్కోణ జయసింహ యో ఫ్రెండ్ గైడ్ మెంటర్ ఫిలాసఫర్ అండ్ వీ ఆల్ నో దట్ వీఆర్ ఆన్ ద జర్నీ టు సెలబ్రేట్ అవర్ లైఫ్ ఇన్ అవర్ పాడ్కాస్ట్ వర్ గోన్ టాక్ అబౌట్ ద సెకండ్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ లైఫ్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ సిరీస్ యూ ఆర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ టేకింగ్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ హెల్త్ ఫిజికల్ హెల్త్ so once you have a good body good health what's the next thing that you need to focus upon that is on your brain some tongue about the neck top not the laptop we spend so much of money effort to keep our body below the neck fit but you know that if we don't invest on your neck top that is your brain <laughs> the bottom part the below the neck it won't work only so it's all about to you keep updating yourself you keep increasing your knowledge base as well because all of us have got a brain animals birds insects and we human beings as well but look at those dogs buffaloes donkeys horses elephants they've taken birth automatically they grow old in the process they produce children and they die generation of generation they have been taking birth and dying but there is no change in their life like dogs they never had any dress that time even today there is no dress dogs they used to bark then they still bark right now the language is no change dress no change the food habits what they used to eat earlier same thing even today but look at us human beings we too were like that early men we did not know how to lit fire how to plow the soil how to cover our body we used to live in those caves but man had this intellect thinking ability he always used to wonder how can my life be better tomorrow than today from this thought from this question we got this civilization we all live in air conditioned houses now we travel by fast moving cars we fly by supersonic jets click of the mouse we can connect to somebody in the other part of the globe right now i am in my office talking to you and you are driving a car you are at home cooking you are able to listen to my voice all because of the technology and who did all this 5% people rest of them though they had that intellect but they never used so most of us take birth we grow old get married produce children get our daughter married send son to america build a house buy a car and say oh my god i achieved so much got tired and we quit but is this the purpose for which we have come we need to do something more for that you have to keep on enhancing your knowledge intellect that's only by reading books i still remember when i was in the school i come from a small little village in the state of telangana it's around 100 kilometers away from hyderabad i didn't go to school till i was 12 years such a poor family couldn't speak english couldn't speak hindi but my teacher used to always tell me but i want to become something in life you may wear a torn shirt but you must read a book that stayed in my mind at the age of 16 and half when i joined in the air force their first language used to be english when they should tell me to come in i used to have a wonder should i go inside should i come outside but my teacher what he told me when i was a kid i remembered my salary at that time was 390 rupees per month ya yeah, 390 that's all my salary was and i didn't even had a beard so i used to buy a toothbrush and toothpaste a tongue cleaner one soap that would last rest everything food was being given by the air force i used to buy one newspaper hindu one competition success review wisdom magazine i used to go to library and borrow a book and i sit and i used to sit and read my friend is to make fun of me 6 months later in a debate competition okay and i stood top ever since i have not stopped learning i have not stopped reading today i go to many countries i speak to many people all because of what 
because you keep reading so a person who can read but doesn't read is equal to a person who cannot read so you are an educated illiterate why you can read but you don't want to read and when i had gone to you know different countries i have seen one thing in common in their houses all great people who made money who achieved success who made a mark for themselves in their profession personal lives you know what they all had one personal library in the house so i used to ask them why library they would say what we know and what we need to know everything is in the book the way we don't go to sleep unless we have food every day like that it has become part of our life that every day we should read few pages before we go to bed that's why those countries very small in size few people they are not as intelligent as we are but they are super powers rich countries because they end up reading lot of books barack obama in one of his book he was mentioning about a ritual that their family follow the former us president obama so obama and michelle obama and both his daughters they read one book a month each one of them sunday morning after having breakfast one of them the younger one will share about the book that she read book review which book author what it is all about what she learned what she liked what she didn't like it the learnings others three will listen they ask questions second week is the elder daughter third week michelle obama obama and fourth week obama so obama says that every week you now we keep learning something new something learn something new we keep reading every week like though they read one book per month each one of them it is like reading four books a month bill gates microsoft founder he says he would read around 52 books in a year warren buffett the rich man spends 5 to 6 hours every day in his office reading newspapers magazines journals and mark zuckerberg he reads one book a week elon musk the richest man he had read britannia encyclopedia by the age of 9 so one thing be assured that you want to be like them you want to be better than them then you can't escape but to read because what you know is what you know what you don't know is in the book a book to be written an author spends 4 to 5 years on average his life experiences his insights his wisdom and what all books that he read he is going to put everything in a nutshell so when you read a book you are going to get 4 years life of that author that much wisdom is going to be there with you so i don't know what you do but you need to spend time on reading and brain has got one formula use it or lose it and we have gone to school college university we got a job till that we have been reading the moment we got a job we got settled in our business or a profession we stop at reading put your hand on your heart and ask when was the last time you bought a book about your profession about anything else generally in the whole world 5% people they read they buy books out of that only 1 to 2% they end up reading books so when you are in the bus stand airport railway station you see one book exhibition you see a nice beautiful title you pick up the book wanting or thinking that you will read you read few pages keep that in the shelf so you know that you have the book but then you don't read at all so many books i'm sure when you look into a shelf there are so many books you bought but you have not completed them only that's the reason people say i'm working very hard i don't get money so if you do today what you have done yesterday you will get today what you got yesterday so you want to do something new then you need to keep learning how by reading new books so like in our body hair will go new hair will come you cut nails new nails will come skin will go new skin will come but, but the cells in the brain if the neurons they die new cells won't take birth for them to be alive active healthy potent you need to give them work and how by reading when you read a book the author is talking to you brain becomes very active so i don't know or who you are right now whether you want to be there in top imagine you want to be 
top 1 lakh people in the world read one book a month about your profession maybe medical or chartered accountancy or legal book or engineering about politics about economics about you know political social geography i don't know which profession you are into if you read one book a week you'll be in the top 100 people in the whole world can you understand this it means it is so simple to be counted among top 100 in the world if you read one book a week so knowledge will tell you what to do what not to do people might be impressed by your physical attire the dress your body but when you sit next to them when you open your mouth when you pick up the mic when you start talking about a subject one minute they know that you are okay externally beautiful but internally you are not why do you think we love abdul kalam is he so handsome like any other film star not really but then why because he has got a beautiful brain every word that he speaks is so thought provoking so inspiring so finally you understand that you fall in love with a with a knowledge of the person more than the book more than the body so for that only you have to read so you buy a book or you buy a kindle you get you know some e books i don't know what you want to do but you should read develop this habit okay so intellectually you should be very very strong so the second aspect of a human being is you should be intellectually great so first we were focusing on our body second on our mind on our brain on our intellect for that we have to keep reading because a friend if he is in good mood he will talk to you if he is not he says today i am not in mood but book is a good friend when you are in mood it will open it will talk to you when you want to sleep the book also will close it goes to sleep anyone who made friendship with the books he is never got defeated you tell me the last 10 books that you read i will tell you what you are in life so two kinds of books make a list of books fiction okay non fiction one thing is about general motivation about general life second thing is about a profession okay you want to be number 1 you should read both kinds of books so make a list of books today which are the books that you would like to read this month next month this year how many books then fix a particular time for reading every day so that you get automatically accustomed to reading when the time comes choose a particular place to sit and read most importantly if you can find a partner not life partner reading partner with whom we can share a book review it will be beautiful because birds of the same feather flock together so check if someone else is interested about reading a book okay and then enroll yourself in in, in a public library take you know membership and what are books no keep them safe with you bye 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 you spend 5% of income on the books it will give you 500% return you can mark my words you can be assured so the second aspect is having taken birth as a human being what differentiates me from the other species that is intellect so for that to, to develop then what i should do i should keep on enhancing my knowledge the process is by reading newspapers magazines novels story books journals about your professional books motivational books inspirational books i don't know what books so if i am in the field of memory i keep have to keep updating my knowledge I keep reading new books i am in the field of motivation keep updating few days back i had to do one sales seminar long time i have not done a sales seminar for real estate company top most company in hyderabad it took me 3 days okay and i read five books and made some notes and went on the stage and delivered it gave me immense satisfaction that's reason why i have my own kindle i am in the airport i am the railway station instead of simply waiting one hour to get into the gate uh, boarding gate you have a kindle you are in your own world to us from hyderabad to bangalore you are flying or you, know, you are flying to delhi two and a half three hours you can spend time in reading you are waiting for someone in the you no know, cafeteria restaurant hotel you are free in in your room then the book will open and you can talk 
so wherever you go carry a book with you and make sure that you fall in love with books okay and i'm sure this reading you now will help you and those of you say jaisi ma sir where is the time for me to read i am so busy person if that is the case i can't give you time i am not god even god cannot give you extra time right 24 hours a day but i can help you to learn speed reading techniques where you can double your reading speed as well there are some methods so call me back be in touch with me i teach you how you can read maximum books whether it's vedas upanishad bhagavad gita or you want to read bible quran or any book that you like to read how we can enhance your reading speed i will tell you so i don't know who you are i don't know how old you are i don't know which profession you are into are you a school going child college going teenager or you are in the you know um, 25 30s or you are a professional you know, of becoming going on to become a manager or ceo of a company a retired person homemaker i don't know who you are but develop this one beautiful habit of reading and that will enhance intellect so the second aspect of celebrating life is to enhancing knowledge that is to read books so keep on reading okay and that's one of the most beautiful things why reading is to the mind what exercise is for the body that's my quotation reading is to the mind what exercise is for my body so i spent 2 hours in the gym to keep my body fit every day exactly the same 2 hours i spent in reading so 2 2 plus 4 hours unbeatable lethal combination deadly okay wherever you go first physical appearance you knock them down and the moment you open your mouth and you talk sense people fida fall flat for you what do you say so this is uh, your friend jaisima signing off from now for now and we shall meet up in the next episode until then keep celebrating life keep smiling okay ek is zindagi bas enjoy yourself thank you so much love you all have a wonderful day bye bye